The imperative to reinvigorate mining in KwaZulu-Natal has become even more important. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Jeremy. Absolutely. KwaZulu-Natal has got some um, uh, high-quality um, uh, coal deposits, uh, including anthracite and, 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 uh, and the like. And uh, absolutely a number of the, the smaller towns that were built around the coal mining sector um, uh, are just um, there, you know, uh, for, um, for reinvigorating, you know, for reactivating uh, the activities there. So if we could bring them back on, on mainstream, absolutely it would have uh, very positive uh, results for the economy of uh, Wazulu Natal and for the economy of South Africa as well. Ma so many, we, many of these towns have been lying dormant, though, as a result of the closure of these mines for quite some time. What has been the impact on the region then as people have left, I guess, and uh, gone to seek their fortunes elsewhere? Well, the impact will be huge. At, at the moment, as a result of the closure of those mines, you'll find that uh, mining is contributing only 2%, you know, uh, to, to the um, uh, province's uh, G GDP. And if we were to re in, in, uh, reopen those mines, people will get jobs that we require, and mining would actually uh, also go back to contributing like it used to, to in, the, in the past. It's a long-term play, of course, though. These things don't uh, start operations again overnight, do they? Absolutely, they don't. Uh, however, you, you, you should re realize as well that with the closure of these mines, there are quite a number of people that are, have experience uh, in working in the mine. Um, if you take into account that uh, the labor pool of the mining industry, even in Gauteng and beyond, is coming from this region, uh, with the mines, uh, uh, mine closures that have, uh, have happened, uh, you find that the people would be available to, to go and operate. There are newer mines, of course, that have happened in, in, uh, in towns like Matuba Tuba. We've got a, a new mine there. Uh, that is operating, which means then that if any other mine opens up, people are there available. Just a final question, I am going to ask you to be brief. Uh, part of the problem is that emerging mine owners say that lack of finance is, is, is a problem, but perhaps more importantly, and I'm assuming the province would have brought this up with the new mining minister, Gwedi Mantashe, is a hopeless delay, sometimes six years on, in granting mining licenses. Yeah, that, uh, that becomes a, a, a challenge, and we're hoping that with the new Minister of Mines, you know, there will be engagements that can actually help unblock uh, that, uh, because it, 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 is, it, is, it is an issue.